Good afternoon, everyone. As the slide implies, we're in the rapid diagnostic testing business. Uh, have developed a very compelling platform, as you'll learn. Uh, unique in that it generates an immunoassay level high sensitive test in 60 seconds in a cell phone sized device. Has broad application to veterinary medicine, human diagnostics, food safety, environmental testing, manufacturing process control, and environmental. So it's quite compelling. That's what we do and it's currently in prototype stage in development. If you look at the product, it consists of two parts. As I mentioned, it's in a fully functioning prototype level. What that means is we snap a sensor onto the handheld device, put it in a specimen, and 60 seconds later, a quantitative result appears. Uh, the two parts of the product are on your right, the handheld device, that's a universal instrument that's used on all tests. The test-specific consumable is the biosensor on the left, which is encased in a sample collection device. That's a single use, one time disposable, can test one or multiple tests. Once in a great while, products come along, at least in my 30 year medical technology career, that truly are game changing, if not uh, the holy grail of the particular field. And I think this one falls into that category, either by itself or compared to competitive uh, technology that's available now. We're talking about a 60 second result, quantitative, no reagents, no steps, no incubations, no water, on a battery powered device that cost $150 to manufacture. Bill of materials is 55 bucks for the electrical components. So it's very game changing both in terms of cost, performance, ease of use, and virtually every metric I've looked at. Here's how the technology works very briefly. I'd describe more at the booth. Biosensor, you have a test sensor and a reference sensor coated with capture ligand. The specimen comes onto the sensor. The reference is an inert molecule, so it's non reactive. The immunologic reaction happening on your left in the test resonator forms a viscosity over the resonator. It's 100 micron size and size, manufactured on a wafer. That viscosity creates an immediate sh uh, shift in phase of a radio frequency signal we're putting through the sensor either at 800 or 2.2 gigahertz. So it's quite unique. That's the foundational uh, patent work that uh, represents IP. Uh, these are the observed detection levels. We're down to the nanogram level presently, as you see, in influenza C-reactive protein and human IgG. Uh, we expect to get to picogram level uh, for human diagnostics in particular over the course of the next 18 months of development with several levers we can pull to do that. Very solid IP. The foundational patent's been reviewed by three uh, intellectual property firms in Chicago and Minneapolis. We have a very clear freedom to operate, uh, clearance as well, and we have IP either in the form of provisionals that are being filed or trade secret, uh, uh, which will be kept in the company, ranging from the biosensor on the left all the way to the algorithmic interpretive software on the right, and even how to inline QA. Uh, the sensors during manufacturing. So there's a range of uh, IP to surround this thing with. Our plan is to launch in the veterinary space at the end of 2011. We're presently in two collaborations with veterinary diagnostics companies. Uh, and once we do that, we're validated, we have infrastructure in the company. And then we go to food safety, agricultural, human diagnostics, environmental, and other markets. And we think we can drive to $50 million revenue between now and 2014-2015. Here's how you make money in the diagnostics business. You put a lot of tests on a platform. <clears throat> that's the razor blade. That's the money maker. That's the test specific consumable. Let me back up one second. The important thing too is to get flood the market with the platform. Put an easy to use, easy to learn, easy to maintain, inexpensive, robust device in the hands of users with a lot of menu on it and you have a winner. That's why I keep emphasizing that device is $150, cost a good device. The sensor is a, is a dollar per test at scale. You can make 5,000 of those on a four inch wafer. And then, but that's the level we're working at now is a four inch wafer. So it's very cost efficient, cost effective. There's our income, consist of both revenue and, and licensing. You can see significant license opportunities are forecasted. Inverness Medical Innovations in Boston just paid Epical uh, Company in Ottawa uh, $22 million for right to distribute the human diagnostics market for electrolytes and blood gas. 
So I don't think these product license revenues are unrealistic, nor do I think the revenues are unrealistic in the multiple markets we're facing. Presently, we're raising a Series B straight preferred deal. We raised 1.3 in a Series A preferred deal. We're going to raise $5 million at present. That's going to get us to a final sensor, scale it in manufacturing in a pilot production unit, a complete uh, validation and verification of two launch tests for veterinary, uh, and we'll be commercial in veterinary in the second half of 2011. Our exit plan, to be clear on the strategy, our strategy is to put the technology in the hands of strategic partners like an Abbott, like an IDEX, like an Ecolab, like a Monsanto, like a Homeland Security Defense contractor, have them place assays on the technology. Remember I said the key to making money is to have a lot of tests on the platform. So we're going to Johnny Appleseed the technology to multiple markets very rapidly with the developer's kit. We expect one of those partners in the human diagnostic space to acquire us by 2014, 2015. I've been there, done it with several notable companies, as has the technical founder. I'd be happy to talk to you more about that. Uh, it's truly transformational. Like the iPod has transformed the way we manage, buy, listen, and share music, we think this could transform diagnostics. Imagine a 60 second test for heart attack in the ambulance. Imagine a 60 second test for heart failure in the emergency department. Imagine a 60 second test to determine if salmonella is contaminating the lettuce. Imagine a 60 second test in neonatal intensive care unit. Thank you very much.